Hello friends, welcome to Sociology for Competitive Exams. In this video, I'm going to talk about the scope of sociology. To get a clear understanding on this topic, make sure you are not skipping the video, watching the video fully. Now let's get started. To make this video, I refer two different books, J.K. Chopra Sociology and C.N. Shankar Rao Sociology. Now let's get started. Scope of sociology, what is the meaning of scope? Scope means purpose or goal. Of sociology, we know the meaning of sociology. Sociology is a scientific study of uh, society. Uh, socio is a Latin word, societus, uh, which means society. Logi is a uh, Greek word, uh, logos, which means scientific study. To understand the scope, we can categorize the school of thought into two specialistic or formalistic school, athletic school. This school consists of uh, many sociologists who have the same opinion about the sociology, and synthetic school also uh, consists of uh, many sociologists who have same opinion about sociology. If we take specialistic school or, or formalistic school, we have George Simmel who led the school. Uh, then we have Weirkind and the Max Weber, uh, Small, Owen Wies, uh, Ferdinand Tonis and others. These sociologists had a different background but they had same opinion about the scope of sociology. Similarly, in synthetic school, we have uh, Amel Durkheim, Hobhaus and uh, P. Sorokin who had a different background but the same opinion about the subject. Now we'll know about the specialistic school or formalistic school and uh, synthetic, synthetic school. So this school sociologist believed that sociology has a formalistic or specialistic uh, uh, scope. Through sociology, uh, we can study only a specific aspect of the society. In synthetic school, these sociologists believed that sociology can study every aspect of the society when we address a specific issue. For example, if you take botany, we'll study about the uh, plants. If you take zoology, we'll study about the animal. Similarly, in sociology, uh, we will study about the society, but some sociologists believed that sociology has elastic way. It has no boundaries. It will study everything. Even it will study about the biological evolution of human as well as animal. So to avoid the confusion, sociologists divide uh, the school into specialistic view and uh, uh, synthetic view. Through this view, we can easily understand what is the scope of sociology. Now let's get started. I have categorized the scope of sociology into uh, two different uh, schools, as I said, specialistic or formalistic school and synthetic school. In specialistic school, uh, sociologists believed that sociology is a scientific study of society. It has purity and distinction and independence. What does it mean? Sociology has purity. It will not derive any uh, knowledge from any other sciences or uh, social sciences. It has uh, purity from its knowledge. When we study about uh, human life, uh, especially poverty, sociology will study about uh, the economic state of the human, why the person is having poverty, what are the factors behind it. It observes about uh, the economical problem of the individual. It will independently study about the human life. It will not borrow any idea from eco economic uh, aspect, also uh, psychological aspect or political aspect. Because sociology has its own uh, knowledge, uh, experience to study about the human life. So it stands very distinct from other social sciences. Whereas synthetic school people believed that sociology cannot study about the poverty without uh, getting knowledge from other social sciences. Like when a person is suffering or uh, getting a uh, lot of issues because of poverty, the sociologist should study about the economical level of particular individual and the mental state of the individual, the political policies of the particular state. So this synthetic school sociologist believed that uh, we cannot study uh, the society without getting knowledge or synthesis from the other social sciences like political science and history. The second point is sociology has uh, limited scope and specific uh, aspects to understand uh, the issues of the society. So this in, for the specialistic for sociologist believed that sociology has some limited scope. We can uh, observe only special aspect of uh, the human life when we study about the political aspect. We can only address about the political issues and vote ba voting issues and corruption. Uh, but it has some limited scope. It will study about the specific issues of the society. For example, uh, when a sociologist study about the uh, health, if a person is suffering from obese, so in this case, sociology will study about the eating behavior, uh, why the person is 
uh, eating a lot uh, whether the person is attending lot of uh, club meetings or night party or uh, ceremonies or festivals uh, so it will not get some knowledge or ideas about other social sciences like economy whether the person is rich or not uh, the political influence what are the health related schemes the particular state has so sociologists believe that the specialist school will address only uh, limited issues with a, a specific perspective various in if you take synthetic school it will address the wider scope and comprehensive uh, the, sim, the same example we'll take here uh, why the person is very uh, obese or fat uh, in synthetic school sociologists will study about uh, the various issues uh, the economic factor of the individual political issues the mental factor whether the person has some mental issue uh, or not and uh, also sociology will study about the historical background of the individual so it has wider scope and comprehensive aspect to address the uh, issue of uh, obesity uh, next is sudden aspect of human life will be studied uh, in sociology specialist sociologist uh, believed that uh, sociology can study only a sudden aspect of human life it has some limitations for example uh, sociologists studying about the types of marriage uh, existing in indian society they can only study about uh, the types uh, how the types emerged what are the social causes uh, for uh, different types of marriage system followed in indian society whereas in synthetic school sociologists will study about all the aspect of human life how the marriage system emerged what are the economical reasons what are the political reasons what are the historical background the concept of really, uh, marriage has why people are uh, marrying same gender why a uh, woman marries a uh, woman why man marries man that will be addressed uh, when we study about a marriage and specialist school believed that uh, forms of social relationship and process can be studied but not their content what does it mean content mean uh, abstract sociologist cannot study whatever they cannot see whatever uh, invisible in nature so specialist or formalistic school sociologist believed that sociologist can only study about uh, social relationships which are visible in nature for example a uh, father and uh, son relationship how they interact uh, how they talk in a specific uh, situation and doctor and nurse relationship how they speak in a specific uh, social settings whereas synthetic school sociologists believed that sociology will study about uh, both uh, abstract and concrete whether it, it is visible or invisible it is uh, visible social relationship or invisible social interaction everything can be studied as per uh, synthetic school uh, definition to summarize this slide so specialist school believed that sociology will help us to understand the specific issue of the human life whenever we address about the poverty we can only study about the poverty as a dimension we will not uh, get into other dimension of the issue if you take a synthetic school when we study about the poverty we will look into other aspect of poverty the various causes like mental uh, causes uh, historical background of the individuals and um, economical factors and uh, political factors everything will be addressed when we study about the poverty of the individual now moving on to the views of other sociologists how they look at uh, the different types of school to know about the scope of sociology so specialist school or formalist school uh, believed that uh, sociology will study about the formal behavior and not actual behavior it is given by american sociologist george simmel what is formal behavior formal behavior will take uh, places in a formal settings for example in your education uh, in your educational institutions you, when you wish your teacher good morning that is a formal behavior so 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 george simmel believed that sociologists will study about the formal behavior and not actual behavior what is actual behavior it will happen uh, in your family you will not wish your uh, siblings or your parents when you wake up good morning or you will not say greetings formally so sociology will not study about actual behavior according to george simmel then small believed that sociology will study about the genetic forms of social relationship what does it mean genetic forms means it's about the genetical relationship like a uh, marriage has genetical relationship with one uh, individual to another individual then the individuals will create new family which has genetic forms sociology will also study about the social relationship uh, through uh, the biological perspectives next sociologist is veer kant uh, he believed that sociology will study about a mental or psychic relationship between one individual to another individual even though the mental and psychic relationship is uh, abstract in nature he believed that sociology will study about this uh, psychic relationship which can be visible in the society next sociologist is max huber he belongs to specialist uh, school he believed that 
social behavior can be interpreted through the sociological perspective it can be understand uh, through a sociological uh, lens uh, how the individual react in a specific situation how the individual understand the particular action of the other individual in a specific situation next is uh, ferdinand tonis he is also a famous uh, german sociologist he uh, believed that sociology will study about the community he gave a different uh, unique term for community that is gemeinschaft also sociology will study about the association or community association or society that is called gesellschaft so in community a sociologist will study about the uh, primary relationship close to close relationship we feelings everything will be studied in gesellschaft it is a so it is about a secondary uh, form of social relationship which is available in urban society gemeinschaft kind of social relationship is available in rural society so what he told uh, sociology will help us to understand uh, the group of uh, people living in a particular area with the we feeling that is called the community also it helps uh, the sociologist to study about the associations which has uh, secondary social relationship for example uh, trade unions uh, uh, it will study about the corporate sectors it will study about the formal organizations and informal organizations existing in the urban society when we look at the synthetic school uh, they have given different opinion about the scope of sociology if uh, ml durkheim believed that sociology will help us to study uh, the society uh, through three different uh, field first field is social morphology social morphology will study about the volume population or density and local district of the particular territory uh, how they influence each other how the volume of the particular population living in a particular territory influence the social system will be studied uh, in sociology and social physiology also will be studied social physiology means religion moral law and language how the social control controls the individual for normal functioning third is general sociology it will help us to understand about the social uh, fact especially uh, material and non material social fact how it controls the uh, individuals next is uh, ginsberg a uh, perspective about the scope of sociology ginsberg believed that sociology has uh, four different fields to understand the social uh, issues and the social system he believed that social physiology will study about the quantity and quality of the population uh, what type of culture the population follows how many people belongs to a particular uh, state particular country particular region particular uh, uh, area where people are living uh, uh, following different language different uh, day to day life will be addressed uh, second is social control ginsberg told that Uh, social control will help the individual to have a disciplined life through a convention and court and leg- legislation this convention and this convention and court and legislation will help the individual to have a proper uh, discipline life to have a peaceful social functioning third is social process so synthetic school sociologists believed that sociology will also study about the interaction accommodation assimilation cooperation and competition between the different groups and fourth social pathology it's about uh, the social maladjustment uh, we have poverty unemployment and drug addiction prostitution uh, robbery everything will come under uh, social pathology so ml durkheim believed that sociology has three different fields to study about uh, the society and ginsberg believed that sociology has four different fields to understand the social system so this is the different uh, two opinion about the scope of sociology one is uh, specialistic formalistic uh, school another one is uh, synthetic school to summarize this video we discuss about uh, two different uh, scope of sociology one is specialistic or formalistic school another one is synthetic school uh, in spe- specialistic school sociologists believed that uh, sociology will study about the uh, formal behavior it will study about the genetic forms of social relationship or psychic relationship it will help us to understand the uh, social behavior also it will study about the community as well as associations that is called uh, gemeinschaft and gesellschaft whereas in synthetic school we study about uh, different perspectives to know the scope of sociology the sociologists believed that sociology will study about the social morphology social physiology and the general sociology and the social control social process and social pathology so in synthetic school sociologists will have a holistic understanding about the society they will study about every aspect of society even though they address a specific issue existing in the society i hope this video is very useful if you uh, want to have a clear understanding uh, please listen to this video uh, twice so that you will have a clear understanding uh, by this slide i conclude my uh, discussion i hope this video is very useful 
If you want to listen to Tamil explanation, subscribe to Sociology in Tamil. Watch my other videos. For more new videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be uploading a lot of videos on Sociology. This is Mohammed signing off.